you might be astonished at the bargain on some of the most magnificent houses on the continents. For whatever reason, these homes haven't been able to find an owner for years or even decades. Are you prepared to hear all these tales? From imposing castles with surreal histories to eerie residences that appear to be available for free. Make yourself comfortable as we have a look at 8 amazing mansions that no one wants to buy. Number 8. S.K. Pierce Victorian Mansion Built by a successful furniture manufacturer, Sylvester Knowlton Pierce, the mansion turns heads as it towers over the intersection of West Broadway and Union Street in Gardner, Massachusetts. However, this classic Victorian never appears to sell at market price. It's considered one of America's most haunted sites. This 6,661-square-foot mansion was once one family's dream home. However, not long after they moved home, Pierce's wife passed away from a terrible bacterial infection. A few years later, he too passed away, and his second wife followed. Decades later, his two-year-old granddaughter typically passed away in the same home from a bacterial infection. In this mansion, five individuals have taken their last breath. A Gardner resident and World War II veteran who resided there during the times the mansion was a boarding house was the fifth and final person whose death at the mansion was officially recorded. He inexplicably caught fire while sleeping on his mattress in the main bedroom in 1963, succumbing at the age of 49. Since then, a number of guests and former occupants have related having similar experiences in the master bedroom. They were briefly greeted by the faint smell of something burning. It's also rumored that the ghosts of the deceased Pierce family members make their presence known. Numerous tales mention a spirit that resembles a child playing on the third floor chambers. This spirit is supposedly his granddaughter. Spooky. Number 7. The Amityville Home in more ghost stories, we have a Dutch colonial-style house with a sordid past located in the village of Amityville, 30 miles outside of New York City. This mansion, often known as Amityville, played host to a mass murder in 1974. Ronald de DeFeo, then 23 years old, shot his parents and four siblings here. The Lutz family bought the property a year later, but after just 28 days, they abandoned it, taking none of their possessions with them. George and Kathy Lutz left the Amityville home, saying it was possessed by demonic spirits. The Amityville mansion has long captivated both skeptics and paranormal enthusiasts due to its storied past and the reputed dark energy that some think resides there. The Lutz pair decided to capitalize on the fact that people like the horror tales, and as a result, the business made a whopping $300,000 from published books and films. Home buyers, however, steer clear of this infamous mansion. I mean, who would want to live in a haunted house with living rooms? Number 6. The Adam Griffin House More on the spooky sightings. Adam Griffin built this posh New Orleans estate in 1852, but he only spent a short time there before leaving in fear of an approaching Union Army. The attic of the building was where the first soldiers to enter made a horrifying discovery after following the sound of rattling chains. There they discovered numerous slaves who were still shackled and in desperate need of medical attention. The story goes that among the soldiers stationed there, two Confederate deserters disguised as Union soldiers were discovered. Prior to the execution of their sentence in the attic of the home, the two men who were to be shot took their own lives. The blood was allegedly so much that it flowed down the walls below. People have recounted hearing the attacks, rattling chains, and hearing boots on the ground over the years, as well as seeing the two Confederate troops. The Griffin House has been home to a number of commercial organizations and companies owing to its beauty. The ownership of the house changed frequently throughout the years. With new owners often eager to leave the property, it's remained in a perpetual state of tension. I wonder, will the current owners manage to sell it? Number 5. Granite Loma A hunter's fantasy land proving extremely challenging to find a buyer. This massive log cabin built in 1923 sits on 5,000 acres of forested property and borders Lake Superior in Michigan. It's the largest log cabin in the United States. Granite Loma measures about 26,000 square feet and includes 23 bedrooms, four apartments in an outbuilding, a gigantic hot tub, and a private marina to go with it. Nobody wants to buy it, though, for some reason. 
It was first listed for sale with a $40 million asking price, but in an effort to find a buyer, the price was cut to half that amount. You'd imagine that some super rich guy or empress would purchase this property. However, not even the chandelier with more than 80 hard carving figurines, carved wooden latches on every door, or the fireplace constructed from a shipwreck at a 3,000 gallon hot tub can close the deal. Number 4. The Haunted Youngsville, Louisiana House Had enough of a break on the haunted house tales? We're back with more terror stories. Constructed in the 1920s and 1930s, this two-story, 2,400-square-foot home in Louisiana with two functional air conditioners is being given away for free. Yes, free. Despite their efforts to give it away, its present owners appear to be having trouble getting rid of this property due to its dreadful reputation, such as an unusual noise in the walls and ceilings, and other inexplicable happenings. Dawn Vallette de Clout, the former homeowner, claims that the ghoul residing in the house is her own great-grandmother, Adele, who likes being in the kitchen. Since moving the house to a nearby site would cost around $45,000, its owner is looking for someone who's willing to do so on their own dime. This mansion can surely be yours for the taking if you have the cash to move it, and don't mind sleeping in a ghost house. Number 3. Gobsmacked at the Anne Starrett Mansion Inspired by the love of a couple named George and Anne Start, this stunning Victorian-style home was constructed in 1889 on an 8,000-square-foot site. Modeled with amazing Queen Anne architecture features, this mansion will surely take you back in time. Come, step into this time machine. This over two-story home contains 11 bedrooms and 9 bathrooms. The mansion's remarkable eight-sided dome tower's decor reveals the ultimate tribute to Anne. Using Anne's likeness to represent the four seasons, the four virtues in this solar calendar, George Starrett commissioned the brilliant New York artist George Chapman to develop and implement the detailing for this interior area. Each of the four seasons and the virtues are depicted in George Chapman's frescoes of angelic maidens painted in Anne's image. On the first day of each of the four seasons, sunlight beams through the ruby glass red glass, casting a ruby red light straight onto George Starrett's representation of his angelic beloved Anne. Despite its construction being a labor of love for many years, this magnificent house has failed to win over the hearts of any potential buyers. The Starrett Mansion is believed to be haunted by its former residents, notably Anne and George, who have purportedly been sighted by both employees and visitors according to locals. The ghost of the family nanny is also rumored to keep a close eye on the house guests and is thought to be the most gregarious spirit at Starrett House. The most well-known tales involved pee visitors who experienced a bizarre ghostly head smack because of whining about their stay at the property. Utterly ghost gobsmacking. Number 2. The Lennox Castle Erie Castle, north of Glasgow, Scotland, has a very unsettling past. It was constructed in the 1830s, but was later transformed into a mental hospital in the early 20th century. This castle hospital was a cutting-edge medical facility when it first opened, and the largest of its kind in the entire United Kingdom. In the 1970s, it peaked with 1,620 patients. However, this ominous stone castle was anything but a place of solace. There were allegations of inadequate care and maltreatment of the hospital's patients. A 1989 article in the British Medical Journal stated that a fifth of the patients at Lennox Castle were gravely underweight and emaciated. Former patients have stated that the hospital imposed brutal punishments for even the smallest misconduct, and that anyone who tried to escape the facility would be captured and put in isolation for weeks on end. This sounds more like a prison than a mental hospital. In 2002, the Castle Hospital was finally closed. It's been vacant ever since. Only the most daring would enter this old haunted asylum with the ghosts of those that were once mentally ill. Do you have the balls of steel to enter? Number 1. Al Capone's South Florida Mansion Bought in 1928 by the notorious gangster Al Capone because it reminded him of the beautiful Italian beaches, this is one of the most popular residences in the United States. Al Capone bought this massive property on Miami Beach for $40,000. As would be expected, no one wants a notorious gangster in their neighborhood. There was no warm welcome for him from his neighbors. 
His presence incited a great deal of hostility, which resulted in numerous questionable arrests of the man. In fact, the city of Miami actually filed a lawsuit against him when he moved in, alleging that he constituted a threat to the security and welfare of locals. Made up of three residences, the gatehouse, the main villa, and the cabana by the pool, this palace is certainly enormous. Concrete walls and massive heavy doors transform this lovely mansion into Capone's own personal fortress. The scar-faced criminal suffered a heart attack and passed away in the house in 1947. The house is also thought to have been the location where Al Capone and his cronies hatched the infamous St. Valentine's Day murder, which saw seven members of an opposing gang shot dead in a Chicago parking garage in 1929. Estate agents had to knock millions of dollars off the property's asking price in 2018 just to find a buyer. Was no one gangster enough to drop a dime on it? Or perhaps it's just Lady Karma seeing as she has no deadlines. Would you put your money on any of these glorious mansions? Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, adios.